What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back again with another video. So we're back with another episode of Monday Night Raw, the go-home show for Money in the Bank this Saturday. And I wanted to talk about a few things that were very important and is going to potentially have some type of story beats going into uh, Money in the Bank this Saturday. First and foremost, we got to talk about what's been going on with the Judgment Day. There was a segment where Damian Priest is walking with Dominic. And, you know, he's telling them, you know, hopefully you can be done with this situation with you and your father because they were going to have a match later on in the night. So he also brought up the situation with, you know, has he talked to, uh, to Rhea Ripley? Now, Dominic said, yeah, I talked to her. Everything's cool. And Damien's like, are you sure about that? Because I just talked to Rhea and she says everything isn't cool and she's upset. So he got caught in a lie. He's like, why are you? You've been lying to me. It, everything hasn't been cool. You haven't done anything really to deal with this situation with Liv. Because he keeps saying, I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to finish. I'm going to deal with it tonight. And Damien's like, you haven't been doing that. Why are you lying? So then Dominic, as they're walking into the Judgment Day's area, he makes a little comment saying, you're starting to act like my dad. And we all know he has issues with his dad. And really, his dad was only just trying to look out for him. So him saying that and Damon Priest like, yo, what you say? And Dominic's like, nah, I ain't say nothing. So they get inside the, their locker room area or their little Judgment Day uh, clubhouse. They're all playing in WWE 2K. And then that's Liv is over there with them. And then Liv's like, all right, I got to get out of here. I got to go get ready for my match. And, you know, she, you know, says bye to Dom in her seductive manner. And then she leaves. Then Damian Priest is like kind of, he's annoyed, you know, well, what's going on here. And that's when Damian and uh, Finn Balor, they have a conversation. And they talk to each other. And he's basically like, you know, like, what's going on here? Why are y'all letting her in in the Judgment Days area? She shouldn't be here. And, they, and Finn Balor's like, well, to be honest with you, like, you know, she kind of, she helped us bring the Smack, the, I mean, the Raw Tag Team Championships back to the Judgment Day. And then he started firing back at him. He's like, but we need to talk about what you said to Seth Rollins last week. You sat up there and got yourself in a situation where you may not even be in a judgment day. You told Seth that we needed you and you don't need us. And then that's when Damien tried to let it be known. The reason why I said that is one, Rhea, when she was the champion, we needed her. She didn't really essentially need us as much. We needed her. And now that y'all have the, the, the championship, the tag team championships, we need, e we need each other both. And then he also said, of course, I'm not going to lose to uh, Seth Rollins. I got to, I'm not going to, you know, I, of course I agree to that bet because I know I'm not going to lose. But then there was another comment that Finn Balor said, and this is where things really start to get interesting. He said, you know, you know, I love you, bro. You know, we're family, boom, 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 boom. But I got to be honest with you. Ever since you've won that championship, you've changed and that was very interesting that he said that and it plays into what happened later on that night so Seth Rollins comes out there and he he basically lets it be known I need to win the world heavyweight championship back I don't want it I need to win it and I need to take the title from Damian Priest and I need to take Damian Priest from the judgment day to see if he can survive on his own. And then Finn Balor comes out there. Finn Balor comes out there. And he's not liking obviously what Seth Rollins is trying to do. And then Seth started saying some things that may be potentially true. He said, I think it's not because you have a problem with him facing me uh, in a sense. I think it's because you're jealous that he's a champion that you, that you could never be. You want to be world champion. You want to be the top champion, but you could never accomplish that. Trying to get under uh, Finn Balor's skin. Damon Priest comes out there walking with a purpose. And 
Obviously, Seth's like, oh, this is a trap. This is a setup. Cool. Y'all want to do this? That's fine. Enjoy this while this lasts. Because once I beat Damian Priest on Sunday, you ain't going to have him as your backup. And he's like, no, this Damian was like, no, this is not a trap. And then that's when Finn Balor tried to attack Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins was able to get the upper hand. He was about to punch Damian, but then he stopped. And then that's when uh, Finn Balor started attacking him some more. And that's when uh, Damian Priest got Finn Balor off of him. Like, yo, what are you doing? I got this. Don't do this. Then as they're arguing and trying to sort things out, that's when Seth Rollins ends up kicking both of them and then ends up uh, getting Finn Balor in a situation to hit the curb stomp. He hits the curb stomp on Finn Balor, but ultimately ends up turning around and eating a vicious uh, like choke slam maneuver that uh, Damian Priest does. I mean, the hike he got on this was vicious. And then the segment ends with him trying to check on uh, Finn Balor as they go to the back. So they get to the back. And, you know, he's trying to check up on him or whatnot, make sure he's good. And he's like, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you coming out here, but this Saturday, do not come out there. Let me do this on my own. That's what he told Finn Balor. And he he's like, I'm going to get some ice for you. And then he was trying to fist bump Finn Balor, but Finn Balor didn't do it. And then he walked away and he just looks at him. I'm like, yep, looks like they're planting the seeds. Of Finn Balor potentially costing Damian Priest the World uh, Heavyweight Championship. So they've been building it for a while now. And I think we may get the payoff at Money in the Bank. So that should be very interesting. Also, we got to talk uh, talk about what happened at the very beginning of the show. Um, Jay comes out there. And, you know, he has the crowd hype. And you see the fireflies. Everybody doing the, the heat. The eat dance and everything. He gets in there. He talk about he's gonna win money in the bank. Then Chad Cable Gable comes out there, and he's talking about how you know he you know he survived the Wyatt family, and now he's gonna win money in the bank. And he's like, to be honest with you, they shouldn't be coming after me. They should be coming after you, cause you're the guy that claimed to have stolen the fireflies from the Wyatt family, aren't you? And then he's like, Nah, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I already said they can have them. I'm good. He's like, nah, you're the guy that they, you know, fits the description of betraying their family more than anything else. And then as soon as he brought that up, that's when obviously the lights dimmed and then the Wyatts turn up. And it's just very interesting that he said that because, you know, what happens, what ends up happening later. But basically the same thing that the Wyatts had attacked Gabe before could almost potentially be another reason why they would actually want to go at Jay Uso as well. And that's the point that Gable was trying to make. So the Wyatts come out there. Gable was trying to leave. They're at every turn. And it was a cool visual, him trying to leave. And he finally leaves through the crowd. And then, obviously, uh, uh, Michael Cole uh, ends up getting another VHS tape. Of course, the security around the announce table mysteriously get packed up. But he gets another VH VHS tape. And they end up sending it back to the production crew. And it's once again, Bo Dallas talking to Uncle Howdy. Ultimately, they're one and the same, as you can see with the edits. But he's talking to Uncle Howdy. And pretty much his mission and motive of getting the, the Wyatts together, his mission is to hurt those who leave and abandon their family. Because he would never abandon his family. So anybody he feels that leaves and abandons their family just for their own purpose and their own glory, he doesn't like them and they need to be taken care of. And once again, it made sense with Chad Gable because that's what he was doing. But it also could be a warp. It could actually make sense a little bit with Jay. Because if you're looking from that perspective, you can say Jay abandoned his family to have his own glory. And it don't make it any better that Jay did say I, the Fireflies are with me now a few months back. Of course, he retracted that statement, but it doesn't make it any better. I think they are planting those seeds and we may get that at some point. We don't know when, but it, it not only just applies to him, it applies to other people in WWE. People that have betrayed their family 
for their own personal glory. It'd be very interesting to see who else is on the Wyatt uh, family's list of potential people to get packed up. So we'll see how that plays out. And obviously, triple threat match between Ilya, uh, Drew, and uh, Sheamus was really great. Um, and ultimately, Drew McIntyre ended up winning the match. And he's the last per participant in the men's money in the bank match. And of course, he still has the CM Punk bracelet. And just know, just know, he is going to pay the ultimate price when it's all said and done. He's going to pay the ultimate price when it comes down to uh, what's going to happen at Money in the Bank. I'm going to talk about more of that on my preview and predictions, but I'll be later on this week. Overall, enjoyed the go-home show. Not much had changed. If anything, it just got you a little bit more excited on what's potentially going to happen on Saturday. Comment down below. Let me know. Did y'all enjoy tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw? What was your favorite part of the show? Favorite match of the show? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still going to be the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.